was um, at the Met Ball a few years ago when I went with Jason. I think we had just gotten engaged and... Um, I see a ring. And uh, was like a really kind of special time. I mean, I think anyone that's like newly engaged will remember how like sparkly and fun and lovely and in love they felt and that was definitely that time. We'll never know. Thanks for bringing it up. How long have you and Jason been together? Nine years. <laughs> nine years. We've been together nine years. Ten, year, ten years we've known each other this September. So yeah. Um, Rosie and I used to live in the same apartment building in New York and when Jason Statham would come and visit you, I've told you this, haven't I? I don't know, have you? And so when we would get in the elevator, I would immediately get nervous because in every movie that Jason Statham in, he kills in elevator, somebody in somebody an elevator. Somebody gets <laughs> fucked up in an elevator. And so whenever you get in, you know, for a moment you forget it's like an actor, you're not living in a movie or anything. I'm like, this is it, I'm gonna get it. Oh my God, who's that? Yeah. That was my picture in my yearbook. Oh my God, how old are you here? Um, 16 maybe. Is this your first modeling job? <laughs> no, this was like, I, I think everybody in their yearbook had to go to the photo booth in the local um, Woolworths. Again, aging myself because Woolworths is now closed down, has been for a good decade. <laughs> This is a, an image from my fragrance campaign called Body that I did with Burberry, which was the, I got the opportunity, well, I worked with Burberry for many years and they were really, as a, as a young British model, I dreamt of working with two brands, Burberry and Marks and Spencer, because they were the most kind of, well, they are really the most iconic British brands for, you know, two different, Ends of the spectrum. You have nothing else to say and, about Romeo. And Romeo right is. This is your YouTube audience. Romeo right is super cute. And um, Victoria and the kids were on a flight once, and she said, um, "Oh, would you like to? You know, Romeo would really like to meet you." And so he came to my seat, and we chatted for ages. And he was very excited that he was the new face of um, the Bur of Burberry. And so we chatted about. Just a the couple shoot. of Burberry models. Just a couple of, you know, Burberry models shooting yeah, you know, the shit. Airways. Yeah. Derek Basbaz's personal. Wow. What is happening here? And how mad is Harley gonna be that I'm putting these um, on YouTube? <laughs> this looks like I'm definitely enjoying hanging out with the DJ. <laughs> this is our friend. Um, Harley anybody Harry that Newton. really knows me knows that I love a DJ. <laughs> And if I can find my way to the DJ booth in the evening, I'm like a squirrel. It's like, I'm like a truffle pig with a DJ booth. You better believe I am getting up there and in there and then I am dictating what music. I am the most annoying, annoying. person yes. to a DJ. Confirm. Um, oh look, here's another picture from your baby Here's another here's a picture that got illegally, that got, that got released from uh, my baby shower. And but you look cute. That's, I, a, I she, look, that's an adorable pregnant lady. I look something. It's also a very. I like, remember. Posh so this is shower. in my garden, and you know, I, I will say that these pictures ended up out there in the world, and it was it it, it wasn't that I didn't. Well, it was really there was just a, it was a private kind of time in my life, and and I wanted the whole experience to be private, and and I'm I'm really happy to share them now. Now looking back. Um, but during my pregnancy, I just kind of really wanted to experience it all for myself first. And, um, but anyway, this is at the baby shower in my garden, and I had all my favorite girlfriends there, some of whom did post on social media, and are no longer my name. Um, and uh, it was boiling hot. I remember being so hot that my thighs were slipping. <laughs> oh my god, maybe we're done. That was this year? Or last that was year? just this last um, Vanity Fair event. And again, here I am in another Versace dress. So it's funny that all the, all the images that you pulled from red carpet, I'm pretty much wearing Versace in. I think that to date is probably my favorite red carpet moment. And that dress was truly incredible. It was like molded. I asked the lady that made this, and she was uh, Italian, didn't speak any English, so I asked her um, how long it took to make this dress, and she said that over 600 hours went into making this dress. And it was so, I don't know if you saw me that evening, or I, I did, I did see the, it, but it was such a heavy dress. When you gave me a kiss, actually, mm -hmm. these crystals. Pulled your suit. And I was like, you know what? 
it's a good thing she looks so good, or else I'd push her down. <laughs> <laughs> but it was incredible. It's uh, such a great dress, yeah. Oh! Oh, that's special. Who's that? <laughs> that is my sister, Florence, <laughs> when she... <laughs> <laughs> Her foray into modeling was short-lived. Oh my god. This is definitely not making the cut. This is making the cut. Horrendous. Where do you find this? From the bowels of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Another adorable picture of you and Jason. Yeah. Well, that's it. No matter how polished and prim people think you are, on this YouTube channel, the rosy I know <laughs> and will always know is this. Is this Hang hollering it. in the DJ booth? Hollering in the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it still looks like her. Um, Look how much fun I'm having. Yeah. Always. Oh well. Did you get that? This is the real rosy. <laughs> Alrighty. You gonna pick this up? I wish, I can't remember the last time I hung out in the DJ booth. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs>